Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we have Harshit here with us, who's recently been placed at PayPal through his campus placements at VIT. So it's a super team company in VIT. And before we talk to Harshit, let's just look at the eligibility criteria. All students from computer science and the circuit branches with a GPA of 8.5 in 10th and 12th, as well as in the pursuing degree with no standing arrears, were eligible. Now let's go and talk to him. Hi Harshit, uh, welcome to Hi. my channel. So, firstly, uh, congratulations on your placement. Thank you. And would you like to introduce yourself? Yeah. So, hi guys. I am Arshad Goel. I am from Ghazibad, Uttar Pradesh. Uh, I did my uh, B.Tech in Computer Science Engineering major uh, from the VIT Vellore, which is in Tamil Nadu, uh, you know, 131 kilometers apart from Chennai uh, Airport. Uh, uh, recently, I got placed in the PayPal. Uh, which is a super dream, uh, which is a super dream company in our college, and it's very good and dream for many of us uh, CS grads. And uh, recently, uh, 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 last two months, uh, I am doing my internship in PayPal, and it's a very good experience in that. Okay, okay, thank you. That's great. And so yeah, now you can tell us about your uh, hiring experience, like how many rounds were there and what and all okay. they comprised of. Okay, okay, okay. So uh, the first round was uh, complete uh, coding round. Uh, it consists there were no MCQs. There were only two coding questions, and the time limit was two hours. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. So the first question was basically uh, a type of recursive question. It was basically a very easy level problem. So I think everybody was able to solve it. Uh, the second question was a PP problem. Uh, I would like to tell the problem. It's a really good problem. Actually, we were given a string. Uh, uh, in which the some places we are having the question mark. So what the task was that uh, we need to find the total number of possible strings in which if we replace every question mark via uh, with the alphabet lower case alphabet then the first and the last alphabet should be same and all the adjacent alphabet should be different. So it's a DP problem. Uh, I can categorize this problem as a medium to hard level problem of beat code. So I was able to show, uh, solve it, but the cutoff for this round was like one question and some test case for the second question. Okay. So uh, like 80 to 90 percent of the people were uh, eliminated from this round. Uh, so the second round was uh, the technical round. Uh, for me, it was a complete DSA round. So first problem the interviewer gave me was an in problem. Actually, he didn't ask me to code the whole problem, but he asked me to stuff code the uh, only the recursive part. So first, uh, I make use of the global variable uh, to uh, like print the answer. But then he asked me to you know uh, didn't make use of the global variable and make use of the functioning like the return type value to make the output. Okay. So that was the thing you should keep in mind. Like to uh, didn't make use of global uh, variables as much. You should reduce. Uh, the mm. amount of use cases of global variable. The second question he asked me was uh, the find the peak element. It was a uh, pretty famous uh, problem on lead code. So I was able to solve it uh, pretty easily. Actually in that problem we are given an array and uh, the peak element he defined is like it is not the global maxima, it is like a local maxima. So a local maxima is a point like which is greater than both is adjacent left and it's adjacent right. Strictly greater than not equal to strictly. So he asked me to return the index of any of that element. Okay, so it was a pretty easy problem, and the time uh, like time complexity was required was log n. So I directly sent him that. And the third problem was uh, quite interesting. Uh, it was a problem of matrix chain multiplication, in which uh, he has given me a set of uh, two-dimensional array uh, representing the uh, dimensions of a matrix, and he asked me to you know uh, find out uh, the minimum cost. To multiply all those matrices, so it's a very pretty standard problem for all the uh, matrix chain multiplication, mm -hmm. uh, you know, uh, 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 domain. And uh, I would say, like uh, till now, I have directly set the uh, uh, approach, uh, most optimized approach, uh, which I know as because in the while introducing my uh, my uh, while introducing me, I uh, directly said like I have a very strong competitive programming. Uh, background uh, like I have done competitive programming mm -hmm. for one, one and a half year, so uh, th uh, that's why I have said. But uh, so in this problem, when I directly jump to the DP approach, so he asked me to code in it in a recursive way. 
Okay. So it's a uh, different. So if you are thinking like if uh, you will do the recurse the only the DP approach, not the recursive approach, then you will be mm. failing at some point. So don't skip the recursive approach. The interviewer can ask you to code in that also. So I coded in recursive uh, manner and uh, he was pretty happy with that. So uh, I was qualified with that round and after one and a half hour, I got a call from the uh, uh, organizer that the third round is scheduled. So the third round was also a complete DSA round. The interviewer asked me uh, the problem on uh, lead code, uh, the longest consecutive sequence. Okay. So in that sequence, you are given an array. Uh, then you need to find the length of longest consecutive sequence. Like uh, basically I should say uh, in the very brute force manner, you should sort it out and like check the co- longest consecutive. So. Uh, like in n log n everybody can solve it but he asked me to solve it in log n oh order of n so actually uh, uh, I should not tell lie I have done that problem on lead code but for uh, uh, like optimizing my way like I have done it order of n right but the way you write the code is important in the interview so Mm -hmm. for that reason uh, while I was practicing I uh, just go to the discussion section and I uh, just saw the code and the way it was implemented was very very nice Mm -hmm. Uh, the way of writing the code was very good so i saw that approach and luckily it was i got in the interview okay. so when i code that approach the interviewer was shocked like he was not uh, he has not seen this uh, approach till now and i wrote the code in order of n but he thought it's in o of n square okay so uh, now uh, i uh, now it's your responsibility right as a uh, problem solver or a, uh, at the time of the interview to uh, ask him the test uh, the test case in which he thinks like uh, it will go to order of n square mm-hmm. so i asked him sir like uh, if you have any test case in which you can think like this can go to over of n square so you can give me so he have given me a test case and i have done a dry run on mm-hmm. that code and it was o of n because mm-hmm. i have got it right so he was pretty amazed with the uh, solution and he said like uh, this was solution i haven't seen before and i was like okay, okay. so uh, then he have moved on to the uh, second question which was uh, actually he gave uh, some weird statement mm. and when I figured it down it it uh, like break down to LCS longest common subsequence so I break, uh, easily coded it mm. and <coughs> the interview was the interview was completed in 25 minutes okay so like uh, then it was okay it's done then mm. HR round was there okay. so in the HR round the HR was uh, in the company PayPal company, they, I think they have a policy, right? That mm. If you are going to the HR round, 90 to 95% of the cases you are not being rejected. Mm. Unless okay. and until you make a very uh, big letter. Mm. Uh, so so uh, I knew that. So I went on. Uh, he was not actually, he was just interacting with me. Like, where are you from? Mm. Uh, what are your experiences? How you could in what's your favorite language? And simply talking and then the round was four. That's it. Okay. So that was my experience from the interview. Okay. Okay. That's great. Uh, thank you for sharing. And yeah, yeah would you have any suggestions for people who wanted to get into PayPal or any yeah. or any company in so, general? So uh, uh, these are product based companies, and in any of the product based companies, if you are trying to go with off campus, then you should have both like projects and for coding uh, like strong competitive mm. side. So uh, I have done competitive programming with code forces, lead code, and uh, project Euler. I have done some 70 to 80 problems, and then you can refer to CSS, oh, CSES, okay. CSES problem set. Uh, like everybody pretty knows that. Mm. And for the interview, like uh, I would like to give the suggestion, like if you directly know the uh, optimized approach, then give it. Like. It will take less time. Mm. The interview will be very much happy mm. because I think in my uh, it's my opinion, not mm. I think it's truth. Mm. Because uh, he is an employee of the company, right? So he want to finish the task in very small period of time. And if you you know just uh, giving the uh, brute force solution, then he might be frustrated with you. Mm. So directly give him the uh, uh, solution, optimized solution if you know it, and practice very well. And while writing the code not like first write the code and then explain Mm. it's a very bad way because Mm. interview will be bored so while writing the code make a habit to uh, to interact with the interviewer like if you have declared a variable i 
Mm-hmm. Let's say, like, sir, I have declared a variable i, and I have declared it for this purpose. Okay. And this can be only done by if you have done a lot of practice. Hmm. Yeah. My friend, uh, actually, he was when he was giving the interviews for the internship, he was asked to write the code for merge sort. Hmm. So he is a very good programmer, but he write the code and then he explained it. Okay. So I think that this was the thing which the interviewer felt like this hmm. was not right, hmm. and so make this as habit. Writing the code is different. But writing the code and explaining to the interviewer is very different. Mm. So, so make it a habit of doing both the things side by side, and then it's okay. Mm. And just faith in be have some faith in yourself. Like while I was having my uh, giving my interviews for the internship, mm. uh, I was rejected from J.P. Morgan. So, so I was very depressed. But then I thought, like I am not joining J.P. Morgan. Then it's the loss of jp morgan mm. not from my side because the company which i will be selecting that company will be benefited from me mm. right so have a faith in yourself and this faith will be only be uh, will be developed if you practice a lot mm. so that's some suggestions that i would like to give okay so okay thank you so much and yeah thank you for sharing your experience and the suggestions thank you thank you